Thank you, thank you. Hello and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Sky Team Millionaire? I'm your host, Callum Elston. You could be within a chance to win just 1 million SAS Euro bonus miles by answering this simple question. What's the capital of Thailand? A. Bangkok. B. Bangdik. C. Bangpusi. By the bank tits. So it's pretty obvious that it's A. Bangkok. And that's correct. Unfortunately, it's not quite as easy as that. I'll explain what you need to do if you want to be within the chance to win that 1 million euro bonus miles, although I think I prefer a million euros instead. Let me explain. So hello and welcome back to another Calamelson.com video. Apologies for that slightly cringe intro, I thought I'd do something slightly different because the puns were already written because of the name of the marketing campaign. So if you've been sleeping under a rock or you're just not into aviation, SAS actually left the Star Alliance having been a founding member since its inception uh, on the 31st of August and they joined Sky Team on the 1st of September. As reported on the website Head for Points, they have recently recruited a new marketing director, coordinator from Virgin Atlantic who is going into some quite weird and wacky ideas to do PR and marketing campaigns. So to celebrate this uh, joining of Sky Team Alliance, the airline have actually launched this campaign, Who Wants to Be a Euro Bonus Millionaire? to allow people to celebrate this. So if you fly five SkyTeam airlines in the period between the 8th of October to the 31st of December, you will earn an additional 10,000 euro bonus miles. If you fly 10 SkyTeam airlines, you'll earn an extra 100,000 euro bonus miles. And if you fly 15 tall order, you'll earn an extra million euro bonus miles. And all tickets are included in this, including cash tickets. So ones you pay for with your cash, obviously, and even those with Euro bonus redemptions. It covers all of Sky Team, with a few exceptions. These are ITA, the flag carrier of Italy. This was formerly Alitalia. ITA um, assumed the membership of Sky Team. However, integration has not been uh, concluded with SAS. I suspect this is because Lufthansa is buying some of the airline and likely ITA will join Star Alliance. You also have MEA, which is Middle East Airlines, uh, who no reason was given, but potentially because it's geopolitical situations. Air Europa, now this IT integration will be live hopefully by the end of October. However, it's not live yet, so you can't guarantee that the miles or the flights will be eligible. And finally, Aerolineas Argentina, which is only eligible if you do a Euro bonus redemption, not a cash ticket. And finally, not forgetting Czech CSA Airlines, and that's because it won't exist at the end of October, so what's the point of adding them as a partner? Worthwhile noting that it's only Sky Team partners, so Singapore Airlines are still partners, joint venture partners actually with SAS, and also Vidro are not eligible because they are not part of Sky Team, so that's a bit of a shame. The most important part is the operating carrier on your ticket. So for example, let's say you bought a flight from Copenhagen to Atlanta via Amsterdam, for example. So you know, the first flight might be operated by KLM and the second flight operated by Delta. If they had a Scandinavian Airlines SAS SK code, what would count is not the code, but actually the operating carrier. So in this case, KL for KLM, and DL for Delta. And then actually how easy is this to achieve? So I have not done any of the legwork on this. I've been relying not necessarily on the reporting of the Head for Points website because a lot of that was just the press release with a tiny bit of analysis, but instead actually some of the comments because there's been quite a few keen people to do this. Somebody stated that they priced it up covering all the carriers including a number of those in Asia um, for about 2.2K. And clearly this is dependent on somebody, one wanting to spend that money, but also having the time available to do so. Partially it was also dependent on Air Europa being eligible, and but it did cover 15 airlines of the Sky Team. So it's worth noting that you've probably got three types of redemptions on SAS. First, you've got partner rewards, which could be spent on other Sky Team airlines like Virgin, Vietnam, Delta, KLM Air France, all them kind of things. 
so they're pretty normal. Um, then you've got Euro bonus redemptions, which are based on our war charts and very clear pricing. Then you've also got SAS sort of full price pro redemptions, which is effectively if there's a cash ticket on sale, you can buy that for points. So based on the award flight table, 50,000 Euro bonus points to fly in business class from Europe to uh, JFK with Scandinavian and that includes the connection which effectively means you could get 10 return business class trips to and from the United States which seems pretty good value for me plus taxes which could be up to 300 euros if you're flying from the UK. Other examples so you could have 42,000 one way in economy from London Heathrow to JFK on Virgin Atlantic or Delta and I didn't actually check that myself. Um, if you're looking for something a bit more interesting, Europe to Asia in premium economy uh, for 135,000 miles which seems okay, not exceptional value but if you want to go somewhere that's not North America or if you want something that's quite, you know, interesting, you could fly Etihad Airways from Europe to Abu Dhabi but nowhere beyond in first class for a staggering 250,000 miles now not value for money I would say that because I spent a stupid amount on Singapore Airlines miles for a sweets class redemption however it is a once in a lifetime thing to do and you know if you've got these miles saved up why not use them so in, in essence Partner redemptions, I wouldn't say are great value for money. However, if you use them on SAS and on them award table redemptions and not the cash like fares, then you can actually get some decent value if it's on SAS. So in all, is it worth it? Now, I'm not going to tell you whether it's for everyone or whatever. If I had the time and the money, mostly the time is the issue because I do turn a bit thousand pound is not too expensive however you need to have the time it's not something you can just hop around so you could do a chunk of them in Europe you know five or six airlines a load in Asia particularly around China and Korea and Southeast Asia but that requires you to go to them places and actually hop around a lot it's not easy to do and that, that's what makes this interesting so theoretically, if you've got it for that £2,200, you could make up to a Forex return, which I feel is a great return, obviously, plus all the miles you would earn anyway. And it could make it worth it, it could make it really worthwhile. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of great YouTuber videos over the next couple of months, which is like, I flew around the world to fly all Sky Team Airlines. And I, I've seen the points guy have already done that because they were sponsored by SAS to do it. However, Ultimately, it is a ton of hassle. If you're going to do it for £2,200, it's probably going to all be in economy class, so it's not much luxury. It could be a good bit of fun. It would be interesting to see what happens if you are thinking of doing it, or if you've got a strategy to do it. Pop a comment down below, let me know what you think of it. Also, do you like this type of midweek musing video? Is it something you're interested in? It's not the main type of video I want to do. Obviously, that's sort of the flight review of some content. However, I think this is a nice way to pad out a bit of extra content during the midweek. Thank you for watching this episode of Who Wants to Be a Eurobonus Sky Team Millionaire. I'm your host, Callum Elsden. Be sure to subscribe, like, click that notification bell, drop a comment down below. I hope you see me in my next video. I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.